Public outcry yields results. Seven Padilla operatives relieved amid Iloco's Norte drug buy-bust controversy, yet Jason Dumlau remains detained in provincial jail. Justice is swiftly becoming a focal point in the case of Jason Dumlau amid allegations of evidence planting and misconduct by Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency Padilla agents during a recent sting operation. Netizens have erupted in outrage over what they perceive as a frame-up, fueling demands for accountability. Dumlau, a 32-year-old charcoal maker, found himself at the center of a controversial arrest on February 7 in Solzona town, Ilocos Norte. Reports indicate that a team of Padilla agents, assisted by five policemen, conducted a sting operation in Barangay Nalison, resulting in Dumlau's confiscation with a gram of shabu and alleged buy-bust marked money totaling 9,000 pesos. However, a viral video capturing the arrest has cast doubt on the integrity of the operation. In the footage, Dumlau is seen on the ground, being read his Miranda rights, while an ungloved Padilla agent seemingly produces a sachet from his own pocket, later declared as evidence allegedly sold by Dumlau. An anonymous caller, speaking to DZJC Axion radio host Rolando Jose, raised further concerns. The caller claimed that Dumlau was apprehended without media or barangay officials present, an hour before the purported buy-bust shown in the viral footage. Allegations of threats against Dumlau's associates, removal of bystanders from the scene and obstruction of communication with barangay officials were also made. The Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002, RA 9165, categorizes planting of evidence as a heinous offense, punishable by life imprisonment, heightening the gravity of the accusations against the involved agents. Adding to the controversy, Dumlau was identified as a top 3 regional target personality by PDA Region 1, despite lacking any prior criminal record or history of drug-related offenses, as indicated by Barangay certifications. Furthermore, Dumlau asserted that he does not bear any tattoos when questioned by a Padilla agent, an interaction that many netizens criticized as unprofessional and mocking during his arrest. In an interview with the local radio station on February 12, Dumla personally clarified that it was the Padilla who raised the controversial tattoo question, not their reporter Dulce Valenzuela. Dumla's wife, Lily Dell, has vowed to pursue legal action against those responsible for her husband's arrest. Dumlau himself, in the viral video, vehemently denies involvement in drug sales and pleads for mercy, citing financial difficulties exacerbated by his child's medical condition. While Dumlau remains detained at the Ilocos Norte Provincial Jail, calls for accountability reverberate across social media platforms. The Ilocos Norte Police, meanwhile, has yet to address the status of the seven policemen involved in the operation. Amidst public outrage, an outpouring of support for the Dumlau family has emerged, with donations exceeding 200,000 pesos. The family's youngest child, grappling with a severe congenital disease, remains hospitalized in an ICU in Ilocos Norte. Padilla spokesman Derek Carrion has verified that Padilla Director General Moro Lazo has initiated a comprehensive investigation into the incident. The agents who have been relieved of their duties are now poised for thorough scrutiny under the lens of justice, alongside heightened scrutiny from netizen activism. <laughs>